Hi there, my name is Patrick and I am the creator of playit.gg and we are going to set up a free Minecraft server that you can host on your own computer. So I'm going to open up playit.gg here and I want to do a Minecraft Java server. So I do not have a server set up. Uh, the first thing it wants me to do is to download the Minecraft server. So if I click here, I can go in and download this file. I'm going to keep. And then I'm going to open up my downloads. And we have that newly downloaded serve.jar file here in my downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder on my computer. I'm going to call this Minecraft server. And I will copy the serve.jar into that directory. Wonderful. So I did just download the Minecraft server. Okay, we did that. We are on Windows. So it wants us to create a new text document. We're going to name this run.bat. Now, you notice that this still says text document. We're going to want to change that. So if we go here to view, and then let's see file name extensions. We want to check that. So now we can actually see that the file name is run.bat.text. So if we side click, we can go ahead and rename. Wonderful. Now we have a Windows batch file. If we side click on this, we can press edit. And we can go ahead and copy that command into here. Okay, with that saved, we can press done. So now it wants us to run the script. Okay, you see how it kind of seemed like it might have flashed, um, but nothing's happening. So uh, when we ran it, a eula.txt file was not created. So that means we have to go ahead and download and install Java. So if we click here, I'm just going back just to make sure I have this page. Um, we want to make it see the Windows offline version. And I am on a 64-bit machine, so I'll click that. Wonderful. We'll go ahead and run that. Okay. Twenty-five years of Java. While I drink my Java. Okay, we have successfully installed Java. So if we run this again, this stays open for a bit longer, and it closes, and we have these new files that have popped up. So come back to our guide. Java is now installed. We double clicked run.bat. And now we have a eula.txt file. So if we go ahead and edit this, we want to change eula from false to true. Okay. Now we want to double click run.bat. Okay, things are happening. We want to allow the server to communicate with um, our network. So we can say allow access here. Okay, that is done. The next thing it wants us to do is download the play.gg tunnel program. So I'm on Windows 64 bit, so I will download this. Okay, done. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move this download into my Minecraft server folder so I know where it is in the future. Okay, we can go ahead and run this now. And 
is still, this is a release candidate for a new version. So if it gets really funky like this, you can um, resize it a bit and it snaps back. Okay, shoot. Uh, I'm going to do something real quick uh, to pretend like I am a new user. Okay, so sorry about that. Now, when you launch the program, it will open up a new window that looks like this. And if you go back here, you'll see that it says the program is now connected. So the next thing we want to do is just press add to configure the local tunnel. So the tunnel is ready and it has assigned us this random play it domain. So let's go ahead and launch Minecraft and see if we can connect. Multiplayer, direct connect. And just like that, uh, we are connected to the server. And this is a public server. So anyone in the world with this address can connect to your Minecraft server. So yes, we can connect. Success. Uh, you can click here to manage your tunnels. So you can see here we have a Minecraft Java tunnel. And you can also go ahead and say hi in our Discord. Well, that is how to set up a public Minecraft server for free with Play It. Thank you for watching.